So for all you guys that would like to use your SDR software and your SDR receiver uh, along with your favorite transceiver, this little video may be of interest. Um, we're going to show how to use the IC7300 as the uh, really the control device for the uh, SDR console software. So we already assume that you have got your SDR receiver uh, connected and working with SDR console. Uh, in this case I've got uh, SDR Play Duo running and I've got it running properly here with uh, SDR console. But we'd like to control it with our IC7300. I'm not going to get into the details about transmit receive switching and all that. I've got that in a different video and I'm going to put the link uh, down below here. So uh, go to that and you can get more information on how to switch between transmit and receive. But for now we're just going to talk about how to make this work uh, with the rig. So the first thing we got to do is to make a serial connection between the the radio and the computer and uh, to do that we have to connect the serial of uh, the USB cable to the radio and apply power and then we look at our device manager on Windows and uh, when we do that we'll see device manager indicate the uh, serial port. So I'm going to bring up device manager and slide it over here so you can watch it. And here is our ports. Now we're showing a, a physical USB COM4 port and that's all. So I'm going to apply DC power to the IC7300. Turning on the power supply, you notice what happened. Now I haven't even turned on the 7300, but it did supply us with an extra serial port here. It's called Silicon Labs uh, USB to UART bridge, and it gave us a COM6 port. Now it's going to vary, uh, you know, depending on what you've got configured on your PC. COM6 happened to work for me. So remember that and then we're going to go set up uh, another little piece of software that we have to install. So let's go get that and um, this little piece of software is called OmniRig and um, let me bring that up here for you. Uh, that is, uh, uh, let's see here, here we go. Okay. OmniRig 1.19. This is on the uh, AFRIT, the AFRIT Software Incorporated. Let me go back to their home page here. Um, it's called DX Atlas and uh, if you go down on the left side here you'll be able to see um, OmniRig and uh, you can bring it up there and this tells you all the radios <clears throat> that it currently supports which is just about everything including the 7300 right here so uh, the best thing to do is where it says see the download page go to that and then you'll go down here and find OmniRig. Now here's here's the OmniRig download link and there's another file here called INI, INI files for OmniRig. You really need both of these and these really aren't uh, uh, Windows programs they're just uh, a bunch of files 
and the first thing you would do is click on this let it download and then take that file which it creates it's called uh, here it is Omni rig uh, and it's a zip file it's gonna put it in your download folder and also grab this one I and I files for Omni rig and take those two files now if you if you bring up this this OmniRig uh, setup.exe, the best thing that, that I do or what I did was make a folder on my C drive and just put this file under it. Okay, and then the uh, uh, let's see, let me get this uh, rig I and I file here. It gives you a folder, and you open that folder, and there's all, all these rigs. What I did was uh, copy them, uh, and it's real easy to do. <clears throat> Just uh, hold down your shift button and take your down arrow and just buzz down through here like this. And, uh, and then once you get them all highlighted, do a right click and copy and then take those and paste them into the uh, folder that you have OmniRig in. So this is my C drive here is uh, OmniRig and here is the one that I downloaded for to run OmniRig client.exe <clears throat> and, uh, and then I pasted all these um, rig I and I files in there. So uh, click on the client.exe and uh, that will bring up a little uh, window here which I'll show you. And as you can see it says status down here rig is not responding. And that's because we don't have the rig turned on for one thing. Um, but look up here dialogue invisible open dialogue click on that and that brings our little uh, settings window up for Omni rig rig type select your uh, 7300 here from this list of rigs uh, remember uh, we had com6 so put in there whatever port that you had alright the baud rate should match the uh, baud rate of uh, what you saw in device manager if you check the properties on your uh, on your file on your uh, com port you can set it I set it up to 115 2 which is pretty fast and that way your tuning is smoother so uh, maybe it would be best if I showed you that I'll go ahead and bring up device manager again and uh, drag that over here and show you. Here's your COM ports. There's the Silicon Labs. So here's the settings. Uh, go over to port settings and this is where you change your uh, bits per second. As you can see you got a lot of choices. So I, I chose 115 to uh, 8, none, and 1 which is typical. So in OmniRig, I'm going to match that uh, eight, nine, and one, and so forth. Okay, so uh, let's turn the rig on. Voila! As you can see, status is online, and so now we have OmniRig up and running. So let's tune the rig. And as you can see, it sends a lot of commands every time I tune it. And look at your frequency of this VFO change as I tune the rig. So that's the way it's supposed to work. Now, let's, uh, let's deal with the uh, SDR software. We're going to run uh, SDR console. And uh, let me... Uh, bring that in and here's SDR console 
Now notice that as I tune the rig, it's not changing anything on SDR console. That's because console has not been set up to talk to Omni rig. So the the rig that we want to um, set up for SDR console is Omni rig, and you'll find that HD SDR SDR Uno and all these other ones. They all use Omni Rig as usually the only rig that they'll work with. So Omni Rig kind of acts as a, a go between between all those rigs out there and uh, whatever software that you're using. Now, to make this work, uh, this particular, they're all a little different. So let's go to, uh, let's go to the View tab up here at the top. And then we go over to more options and we want external radio <coughs> and that's our 7300 or whatever radio so let's tick that and say OK and you must restart the program to make this work so it's, it's going to restart comes back and uh, now we can start our uh, software back up. Now look what it did. It added this little window down here, external radio. So click on the uh, question mark. The external radio interface, OmniRig, is not started. Start now. Let's say yes. And so here it is. There's my 7300, so forth. And you know this looks okay. Uh, there's some things you can do to change the appearance of things, but uh, for now, just leave it at be. <clears throat> you may have to click on track, uh, but uh, you may not. So I'm I'm not sure. But anyway, I just clicked on it, and there it is. So let's uh, let's take a look here. Uh, we can see that our frequency on the uh, dial is the same as the radio, and as we tune the radio, we also tune the software. And likewise, we can click anywhere here on the band, and it's tuning the radio. So now we've accomplished that. Right, listen around. See, I'm tuning with my mouse, so and I can also tune with the radio. So what I'm uh, hearing is a signal from the SDR play. Now, like I said, to uh, connect the uh, the signal source uh, to the SDR play is going to require some kind of a, a switching device or you can just go straight to an antenna and just use it for a receiver and just use your uh, basically using your your 7300 for a tuning knob or a band changing knob but that's not too much fun so that's why uh, I recommend the uh, RX7300 adapter and you can get that from DX Engineering and uh, let me uh, let me see if I can find that here for you uh, I guess the the best thing to do is uh, simply uh, type it in the RX7300 and um, here we have DX Engineering and by the way there is my uh, video on how to how to install it and make it work and if I click on that here it is $39.95 a lot of people sell this thing at different prices um, it's real easy to install in the back of the uh, radio and what it does it gives you access to the antenna port for the receiver and we can 
route the uh, receive signal from the uh, 7300 into the uh, into the SDR play this way. Now some people are using the SDR play to monitor the IF frequency of the receiver and uh, that's that gets into a lot more uh, technical complications but anyway there you go so let's go back to uh, console uh, we can change bands from the radio by uh, doing this and that changes bands on SDR console so that's working good okay uh, let's close console and uh, let's open up um, HD SDR and uh, this gives us this little window here and with it HD SDR you have to install these DLL files for whatever radio you're gonna use so there's my SDR play and we'll open that <clears throat> and so there it is now to make this work with your radio you would go to options and into cat 2 radio omni rig uh, I've got sync rig 1 omni rig on mine and sync to omni rig and sync from omni rig and sync the tune frequency select those and you'll be ready to go so now you can see we can tune with the radio or we can tune with the software and that's pretty much the same uh, type of thing has to be done for any of these SDR softwares okay well that's it for now and I hope this was of some help and uh, best of luck getting uh, your software running with your 7300